A new Marie Claire story discusses how traveling alone does not make you lonely or sad, but rather the opposite. Traveling by yourself can help you to explore new places and learn about other cultures in a way you may have never experienced before. I've never traveled alone, and I really feel like I would love it, because I personally don't really get that lonely. Like, I spend a lot of time by myself. Right. I don't mind mm -hmm. eating by myself. I don't think being alone is sad. Yeah. I hate mm -hmm. when people just yeah. assume that you're Completely. sad because you're alone eating Completely. your pasta. I'd be like, she's living yeah. up. Thank you. Seriously. Honest, so thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I can visualize that, and I know it's true. But I come from like a background where, like, you know, me and my mom watched a lot of Lifetime movies, <laughs> and like we just have a sad story jukebox going. So like, even like, okay, I was thinking about doing a solo trip, and then I had to like end up reading this article about this couple who just got like magically like disappeared in the Dominican Republic, and then my friend who went um, someplace else with, she went with her friend. They ended up getting one of them got roofied, and the oh, only reason oh why she was okay was because she had her friend spot right. on her. Wow. So wow. I just hear so many horror stories that I think it's like I'm not afraid of being alone yeah. or being like perceived as sad. I'm afraid of like you know all the potential bad things can happen. But you know what? I could die right now from a heart attack. So exactly. what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, I think those are things, especially as a woman, you have mm -hmm. to be really careful about. And there are a lot of great articles that write about the countries that are safe mm -hmm. for solo travelers, specifically women. So like Vienna, for instance, is very walkable and mm -hmm. it's really, you know, yeah. it's really safe and there's lots, they speak English. And so you have to find the place that's right for you. Um, I did spend like three days alone in Tokyo. That was an experience. Wow. Nobody speaks English. I was by myself a lot. There were definitely moments where I was like, but you don't, you're almost hyper alert and you don't put yourself in situations that feel dangerous right. also, you know? That's yeah. good. Because here in New York, I barely walk outside in the dark. Right. <laughs> I'm good. like, the, the sun is gone. <laughs> we must hide. <laughs>